I'm still in like disbelief. I'm like, I'm here, this is happening. guys I officially made it to my Airbnb today was a very 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 long day of travel with a lot of hiccups but I finally made it um, so right now I'm like freezing so I just want to like lie down um, I want to plan out my next few days and um, just like location wise and transit wise so tonight tonight I'm gonna take it easy I'm gonna try and get some food around here um, but yeah I just was in a double-decker red London bus so I feel really authentic so yeah, tonight is pretty chill just to like ease off all the traveling I've done today and the past two weeks. So tonight is chill, but then I'm going to hit the ground running tomorrow and uh, we'll see where that takes me. I don't know how to end a sentence. Bye. All right. I figured I'd venture out for some dinner while it was still light out. Um, I've always wanted to try Nando's. I know it's a chain and I know they're in the U.S. now, but being a One Direction stan, you always heard Niall talk about Nando's. So there's one about a 15 minute um, walk away from here. And like I said, it's still light out um, and I have like my maps on the phone, so I should be able to get there and back. Although if I do see something else on the way there, I'm totally okay with stopping there. Cause honestly, I just haven't eaten all day. I didn't eat on the boat. Um, I wanted to sleep in instead. Um, so yeah, I'm running on no food or water. Actually, I did buy the grossest candy bar in the train station and it was like milk chocolate, but it was like, gray and white by the time I opened it because I'm pretty sure it's been sitting in that machine for probably 10 years. So that's the only thing in my system right now. Um, but yeah, look at all this cute little British neighborhood. i um, gonna get some food, plan out my day, maybe buy a return ticket home. I have no, like, I just have my stuff for London. I need to plan Paris and Amsterdam and then if something, if, you know, I have time underwear or money. I'm going to go somewhere else after that. So yeah, just a lot of planning tonight, catching up on stuff. Just went through all my emails, bunch of junk. Um, I actually got, I'm on like these acting websites and I got one. It's like, oh, children's performer. And then it was like clowns.com. And I'm like, nope, absolutely not. Um, but yeah, so not having internet for a week, for two weeks, didn't miss anything. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to get some food and not get hit by a car. I'm still in like disbelief. I'm like, I'm here, this is happening. Like I've been planning it loosely in my head for so long that I'm like, I am actually across the world right now, which is crazy. Um, walking back, again, I'm always out of breath and walking when I do these. Walking back to my Airbnb and then hanging out for the night. Good morning, kind of getting a late start. It's like noon. Um, last night my phone and my computer went out because you know the battery died and I had a outlet converter and I was like sweet I'm like good I'm prepared I have a Europe outlet converter not a UK outlet converter so I had to um, just like hope my phone would make it through the night and then I was like okay first thing tomorrow I'll go get an outlet converter so that's what I did this morning and then I just let everything charge while well, I researched a little bit more um, still I kind of mapped out where I want to go I don't think I did it that well. Again, I wish I had more time to plan, but that just didn't happen. Um, I'm leaving right now for the Tower of London. Um, I just left. I filled up a huge water bottle before I left, and I left it in there. And just the key situation in my Airbnb is like too difficult. I was like, I can turn around and do it, but I'll manage. That way I don't pee as much anyways. But yeah, I am out for the day. So it is noon right now. I'm gonna see Wicked tonight on the West End. So I'm just gonna stay in the city area till then. So I have a bunch, I like a list of things I could see. So I'm gonna see what is in between Tower of London and there and try and like cross things off my list within those hours. But it's kind of funny, like I was looking up a lot of the things I wanna do. A lot of the things here close at five, even on the weekends, which is pretty crazy. So I'm like, I only have five hours to get like some of the stuff in, but um, I can go shopping, I can do other stuff, I can eat. I'm limiting myself to one meal a day because 
it's expensive and um, after that cruise I can like afford to skip a few meals so I'm gonna find something to do to fill my time but then again it's London I could just wander around so uh, I'm gonna try and get a bus I think I figured out my way around here I think I'm pretty directionally challenged but um, yeah gonna hop on a bus cross the river I'm gonna see the London Bridge the Tower Bridge all that stuff and uh, go to the Tower of London currently on the London Bridge where I feel like that one is the Tower Bridge. I feel like that one's more famous. London Bridge is very small. I got off on the wrong stop. I essentially got on the wrong bus, but it was the same bus route. Um, but that's okay because now I can explore and walk around, which is what I wanted to do. And it's a pretty populated central area, so I feel pretty safe. So it's about a 10 minute walk to the Tower of London, but now I get to see um, the city. All right, so I'm dumb and uneducated. I have no idea what this is. But people are paying to get inside of it, and we're on Monument Street, so it's gotta be something important. As I was doing that pan around, I almost fell. I think I've almost fallen in most of my clips, but um, pretty great view. just left the bloody tower, which is the torture chamber and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of what I came for. Um, huge line and you're only in there for five seconds. It kind of reminds me of Disney World. So I think I've done everything here. So now I'm gonna go head out and uh, search for food. Just took some pictures at the Tower Bridge, which is a photo op I wanted. And at this point, I just have to accept that I'm not gonna get any good pictures from strangers because it's like they're doing with their eyes closed. So um, I'm taking great pictures for everyone else, but all my pictures are a little underwhelming, so if you follow me on Instagram, these are all coming from strangers, so that is why my pictures suck. Regarding the pictures though, there is still that fear that they're gonna grab my phone and either run or grab my phone and like throw it in the Thames River. Um, but I think going forward, I'm gonna try and single out like young people, because I feel like they're more with it. Although I went to Ireland with a YouTuber and he took the worst pictures of me. They were just like off kilter, so bad, not focused. I had mascara all over my face, he told me afterward. Now I'm just exploring, I'm gonna just try and stay on the waterfront for as long as I can, because I feel like that's a good point of reference and really nice views. But I'm um, gonna head towards my dinner location. My friend JJ said um, there was a really good restaurant and it looks pretty close, but like I said, everything seems walkable um, and it's a good chance to explore. So that waterfront walk, um, Last me another 10 seconds before I got here and I'm at the end of the road. So I'm gonna go up like one street and then continue that way. But uh, that plan, not working. Something I really miss about a cruise ship is the access to hand sanitizer. I usually have some in my purse, but I just checked and there isn't any. And then for a while I was carrying around um, Pure All wipes, which I might have to start doing again. But I just feel dirty and I need to like, you know, cleanse. Taking a little detour, the Shakespeare's Globe Theater is right across this bridge. So I was like, let me go there and then come back on this side for dinner. Because honestly, these bridges are not as long as I thought they'd be. I thought it'd be like in America, like the Tappan Zee Bridge or the George Washington Bridge. These are pretty walkable. So I was like, I can hop between the two sides of the river, check out the theater, then come back for dinner. And then my Wicked Show downtown over there. So it's actually really accessible to walk around here. Also, my apologies. If these are shaky, I'm using my hand to um, film these. I have a little vlogging mount, but I didn't fit in my tiny purse. 
and I want to be as light as possible, so using my hand for most of these. Good morning, it is Sunday. Again, a late start, it's about 11.30. I have an afternoon tea today at Kensington Palace at two. But first I decided to check out Battersea Park. My Aunt Kathy used to come to London a lot um, for business, so she recommended this place to me. It's already really, really cute. So I'm gonna walk around here. Um, should be a bridge at the end of this park, and I'll go over into that part of London. And then Kensington, Kensington Palace should be pretty easy to get to. I have noticed I've worn a purple top and this leather jacket the past three days I've been in London. Different purple tops, but I just noticed that looking through my pictures. I was like, wait, what day is it? All right, so I'm just gonna explore. When I left New Jersey, it was gray and just bleak. And just coming to Europe, like especially the Azores, Ireland and England, everything is so green. Like it's still gray and cloudy out, but like everything is so lush, you know? I know I'm on my way to tea, but then I just stumbled across this and like a true fatty, like stopped my tracks, my mouth dropped to the floor. So I think I'm gonna go get this, even though I have anxiety around like cool coffee shop people. Okay, so it's a little loud, I'm sorry about that, but um, Battersea Park lets out over a bridge and then onto Kings Road, which my aunt also recommended. And this is in the Chelsea neighborhood, which my friend JJ said is like the Brooklyn of London. So there's a lot of cool street art and like little shops around here. So I'm going to walk around here for a little bit, eat my cookie, and then uh, go off to my tea. But I'm just going to check out all this cute stuff. So I just stood in front of that wall for a really long time. And I was like, this would be the perfect time to have someone, like a friend with me, to take my picture because that was such a cool wall. And then I stood there like an idiot for a while. And then um, there was too many like hot people walking around. I was like, I felt weird. Um, I can't function in front of hot people. And then I just saw this like old couple and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try it. So I grabbed the old woman. I probably looked like a crazy person there because they were kind of like, mm. I was like, hey, can you just take a really quick picture of me? And she literally only took one. You know how like you're supposed to take like a million? She literally took one. It is the best picture of me this whole trip. So thank you, nice lady. And um, who'd have thunk like one quick one and done picture best picture I have the whole trip. This is the sunken garden at Kensington Palace. This is absolutely beautiful. And I also love these little arched pathways that you get um, to get in here. This is just so pretty.
just finished my afternoon tea at Kensington Palace. It was so good. It was so cute. The presentation was just like very Instagrammable, although it's kind of dark in there. So I got some okay pictures. Um, at first I was like, I don't know if this is going to fill me. It's like tiny sandwiches and like little scones and stuff. Although I love tiny sandwiches. Sandwiches are like my favorite food. So basic. Um, but I'm like pretty full and then two of them had fish in them and I usually don't eat fish but I always eat everything on my plate, so I ate them. So one thing I noticed about London is the food is so expensive. Um, so that was about 30 pounds, which is about 40 US dollars, and my dinner last night was kind of similar. And I feel like I've spent more on food than I have on my theater tickets. So um, just like really expensive food. So that's another reason why I'm eating one meal a day. Although what I just ate was pretty filling and I can plow food, but I was like, I was pretty good after that. Behind me is the Royal Albert Hall, which I'm pretty sure was in the Spice Girls movie. Um, these things are important to me. <laughs> okay, so Buckingham Palace is the most london -y spot you can get because you got the guards. Obviously, you got Buckingham Palace. And behind you, you got this monument and then the London Eye back here. So it's just like all those landmarks are right in one place. So right here is Big Ben. Um, this is apparently under construction for the next four years. So no good views of that. There's scaffolding all over it. But again, we got the London Eye right here and the Westminster. Nope, not that, but that back there, the Westminster Abbey. <sighs> Walking home after a really long day. Didn't feel that long because it's only 8 p.m. And I definitely left around like 1130. But I did a lot today. I also did 30,000 steps, which is insane.